Hello, I'm Rebecca and welcome to another video. Today I'm doing a video on the little free libraries in the like Palo Alto Menlo Park area and I wanted to do um, continue kind of my series of doing these tours, these unhauls in different areas. Right now I'm in the Bay Area, so I did a video in Santa Cruz. Now I'm doing more the bougie part of the Bay Area. If you are not familiar, Palo Alto is where Stanford is. There's a lot of like startups there, a lot of like old money. So I'm very curious how these free little libraries will be different than Santa Cruz or when I was in Kansas City. But let's start with an unhaul because I have two books to unhaul and my criteria for unhaul specifically for little free libraries is books that I know I won't read again but I think other people will enjoy. They're not too specific. So the first one I have is Intimacies. Intimacies, I did a video um, explaining this book and I will link that. Basically, it's kind of a mystery thriller romance book set in the Netherlands. Next one I just finished called The Lion Club, which is similar to Little Fires Everywhere. It's based in a private school in Colorado. The main characters are um, like the secretary assistant is like the number one main character and then two mothers there who are very competitive who have their daughters in the soccer team there and then a coach that is this book it is it was a delight it was kind of slow at the beginning but then it really um was a nice read but i wouldn't read this again because i kind of already know who it was who the murderer was who died, all that stuff. And I also got this for free from my aunt, so I don't feel as bad to like give it on, give it to the next person. So let's go to Palo Alto and check out the libraries there. <laughs> recycled materials let's look inside I'm gonna give put in this book Ooh, okay let's see what's inside so we got this one looks interesting got a lead child in here the butterfly lampshade Ooh, a mental hospital let's see I might take this one but let's see what else is here we got a hawaii dvd and lots of work oh some christmas the magic of christmas double very festive. Oh! Awesome! You remember that? Mm -hmm. Plain white tees. Next one. It's next to this beautiful tree here. And a cat. Alright. It's pretty sparse. I just see again. Too specific. Looks like a YA novel, a lot of kid stuff, and then random, really old 80s books. That one was a wash, but it's okay. I will. I can replace this book in the next one. Hopefully, hopefully I'll find another good book. All right, we are in a little bit more 
more bougier part of Menlo Park. The amount of BMWs, Porsches, Teslas. We're in a like <laughs> Toyota. Um, so they might kick us out. But let's see what the bougier part of this town has to offer. Cute little bench. Some water. Let's see. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, this was worth the drive. Look at this amazing. <gasps> when breath becomes air, such a good one. Oh my gosh, they have four winds here. That's okay. This is a really good one. All right. Okay, I'm going to put mine in because I am definitely getting something. Um, this one looks interesting. We have to tell them this is new. The geologist. This one has a dog on it. Oh my gosh. Okay. I do think that I will get this. Yeah. Oh. Amazing. It's in the prettiest fall area is this one. And it has a little thing on top. It's like a little barn. Okay, let's open it. Oh my goodness. That looks so cute. So cute for fall. Oh wow, this is like, you guys go to the bougie areas of town because there are more little free libraries and such a good selection. Let's see what else is here. Oh, that is so cute. Love, sugar, magic. This looks like a cute romance. Adorable. Looks like thrilling top 10 bestseller Lumen Day. Very cool. Oh, and there's like a secret little cabinet just in case. <laughs> in case you need that. Huh. Very cool. Hello. I am back home with Chai. He does not want to be part of this video. The lighting is not the best, but what have you. So what I got was Four Winds. If you have not heard of this, it is very popular right now. Apparently it was a book of the month club book. And this is basically about like the Great Depression and people living in the Great Depression, which now that we're facing a recession, maybe a good book to pick up. And then this one I've never heard before. It's The Butterfly Lampshade by Amy Bender, but it's such a cool looking cover. And this is about, I believe, a woman and her relationship with her mom, kind of losing touch with reality, what is real, um, what of her memories are, real and possibly having some sort of power whether that's the actual real superpower or just like power of a person so this one seems very kind of up my alley published in 2020 so relatively new book the conclusion to this is go to the bougie part of town for your little free library trip to get your books because what a great haul see you in the next video bye bye